Well, welcome back everyone. And let's talk a little bit about the differences between audio tracks and software tracks and answer the question, what is MIDI? Well, both audio and software tracks are going to record and playback in the track area of the main window. And you'll be able to edit their regions very similarly by moving, cutting, pasting, and splitting them. And their channel strips have virtually identical controls with volume, panning, and also effect plugins you'll be able to add to them. But there are some key differences as well. Audio tracks playback and record audio files. It's the same type of audio file that plays back when you're listening to iTunes, Spotify, or even from a CD. And the way an audio file looks in Logic or any of the other DAW programs gives visual representation called a waveform view that shows volume over time. So the higher the waveform looks, the louder it is. Here's a drum sound that's gonna have a really quick attack or transient and then dissipate quickly over time. And conversely, check out what a more legato sound looks like. So it generally looks like it sounds. And software instrument tracks, which some call MIDI tracks, work a bit differently. So instead of having that audio file region directly on a track, a MIDI region on a track will contain MIDI data, which includes these little rectangles called MIDI notes. And those MIDI notes will trigger or activate the sound that will come from the software instrument. It will tell the software instrument what pitch to play and how loud to play it which Logic calls velocity. And the MIDI data will also tell the software instrument when to play the note and how long to play it, your timing or rhythmic information. So if you have a MIDI keyboard controller, when you record your playing into Logic, it's gonna capture all that MIDI data I just mentioned, along with other MIDI information like your sustain pedal and your modulation and pitch bend wheels.